The Bay of Quinte Remedial Action Plan is restoring the environmental integrity and the long-term viability of the Bay of Quinte ecosystem. In the early 1990s, environmental damage that had been occurring to the Bay of Quinte for decades was identified and documented in a remedial action plan. This plan identified the environmental challenges that threaten the Bay of Quinte ecosystem and people's use and enjoyment of the Bay. Those environmental challenges were grouped together and called beneficial use impairments. The Bay of Quinte has 10 beneficial use impairments, and the Remedial Action Plan implements actions to address them. Around the Bay of Quinte, shorelines, wetlands, and underwater vegetation, which provide fish and wildlife habitat, have been destroyed by human activities. Shoreline areas and wetlands are essential to the survival of a large variety of fish and wildlife, since they are spawning, nursery, and feeding habitat. They also act as filters to improve water quality and help with flood and erosion control. Many waterfront property owners alter their shorelines, unaware of the importance of native shoreline habitat. They remove the cattails, bulrushes, and other native species, and replace them with lawns and non-native plants. This can lead to erosion problems and reduces habitat quality. Numerous wetlands around the bay have been impacted by development and agriculture. However, a great deal of work had been done to rehabilitate shorelines and wetlands. We have helped homeowners to implement shoreline rehabilitation projects. Several large restoration projects have restored critical wetland habitat at Sogwin Creek Marsh and Big Island Marsh. With the reduction in phosphorus levels in the bay, water clarity has improved, allowing light to penetrate deeper into the water. This has encouraged the regrowth of underwater plants that provide habitat for smaller prey fish, like perch and sunfish, and hunting grounds for top predators, like walleye, bass, and pike. By learning about the importance of natural shorelines, wetlands, and underwater vegetation in the overall ecosystem of the Bay of Quinte, you can be part of the long-term solution in helping to maintain, enhance, and rehabilitate fish and wildlife habitat around the bay. Remember, healthy bay, healthy community. <laughs>